for smash. Just right. poke and prod at him off stage until he blows up. Um, but anyways, moving on. Oh, another song. Another one. Uh, it's okay. Get used to it, man. We're gonna be. Seeing that's gonna be the next emote, right? All day. Another one. <laughs> another <laughs> one with a Sonic icon. I should. That should <laughs> be great. All right. This so is, this is an interesting matchup. Oh yeah. So this one has. You have an aggressive Sonic versus like an aggressive Cloud. Oh yeah. That I don't, don't know how that's gonna mix. I don't. I expect this to be too bad. Now I think it's gonna be very very. Volatile, obviously, but uh, I think Salt One's gonna have the advantage in neutral. But if Sunny was on point, which he usually is on Gimping Cloud, it's gonna be relatively even. We're just gonna go straight into it here. Oh, yeah. Now, the way that Sunny plays this matchup is interesting. He is still very aggressive, but it's more so with his pressure and not necessarily with hitboxes or charging spin dash. Um, he absolutely will not commit heavily to anything until he sees you jump. In which case, you know, Cloud doesn't have the best ground game. Right. So he's going to jump at you eventually because that's where most of his approaches are. That's where most of his safe pressure is. Very nice fair out of the pressure there. Oh, yeah. One thing I do notice about someone, he really likes using falling up air on shield. And I feel like that's going to might be detrimental towards his game towards the end of this. He's not careful with how he spaces it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, spacing should be fine, but without it, it's, it could be pretty pretty. Sometimes sad. hard to space because of how fast Cloud falls sometimes. Oh, yeah. Wow, that up air just clipping him straight through. Very scary situation right here. Retreating uh -oh. to that platform immediately. Does not want to get limit cross last. Okay, good back here. And with the ledge trapping continues. Very nice mix up from Sunito. All right, good four tilt. And you notice, like, whenever Cloud is landing, he's not even bothering trying to aerial him at all. He's just running to where he's going to land and just trapping his landings from there. Uh, I feel like that grab might have been a bit ambitious. Oh, yeah. Um, Saw one with a good mix up, so. Very nice weight. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, the reactive dash attack, I love it. Um, notices that his opponent's sitting a little bit too long and just throws it out there and just cleans up that stock. And now that's Sunito. Out of that range of the time that he had to react to it, too, on the ledge. Or on Sunito's end. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's been dash. Oh, and the, misses two grabs. I actually don't think he missed right there. I think um, the invincibility frames of. Limit, Blade Beam actually came into effect. Um, <laughs> if I remember correctly, it's invincible from like frame 4 to 10. Oh, wow. Which is <laughs> so yeah, crazy. It's, yeah, cloud. But anyways, back to the game. <laughs> Salt One doing a great job of holding down neutral. And honestly, he's kind of taking it slower than he normally would, which, you know, that's what you kind of have to do against Sonic a lot of the times. I'm, so, I'm a bit surprised, to be honest. Salt One's usually a, f a highly aggressive player. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's hard to be aggressive against Sonic. You know, any jumping that you may throw out is just going to get stuffed by Spin Dash. Oh my god. Oh my god. He, this man knew. He was so ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> Back throw will take it here. All right. Good, it doesn't, I'd be surprised. Oh, yeah. Now, right he, there, Do you think he would have survived with uh, Limit? Nah, I think he definitely okay. died anyway. Because I know the gravity is a bit different with Limit. All right. And Saw One just taking straight hit for straight hit. All right. Forward air, not quite. Can Kyle Koyuru on deck? Here's where it's super scary. Up air, not going to take it. Wow. He's at 146 and survived the cloud up air. Uh-oh. Sunido needs to be really careful about how he approaches Salt One here. And, and not quite. Very nice DI. And patience. Yeah, Salt One is very well aware. He just needs one good clean hit. Sunido. Not willing to jump anywhere he knows he can get cleared, but yeah, Almost and a great, great call out right there. Wow. You yeah. saw Sunido short hop air dodge, probably expecting limit cross slash. Um, but the limit blade beam lasting a bit longer than cross slash did. Oh, yeah. I think um, because blade beam hits so much further out, right. um, Sunido wasn't prepared to stop running at that instance, and he just got caught. Uh, just caught. He was a dare in the headlights. If basically. he would have actually jumped air dodge uh, cross slash, I think he actually might have gone through it. He may have, but then Maybe. right there, you, I think Sonic can't like short hop air dodge at Correct. that specific spot. Well, he had already light. air dodged when he got hit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's what you're saying. So like, he was already air dodging as he got hit by Limit Blade Beam. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, you're absolutely done. But good call out from Salt One nonetheless. Uh, Counterpick to Town and City. Interesting choice. Um, I'd imagine that this is because the way that Sunny was playing this matchup, he wants to punish as many landings from Cloud oh. as possible. Um, so, you know, Triplats, Lilat don't really give him that opportunity. Right. I remember I was talking with Cargo earlier on commentary, and he was saying that, uh, Wrath was saying that he thinks uh, this is Sonic's actually best stage. 
I am inclined to agree, actually. Um, because Town and City's lower ceiling just does itself or it lends to Sonic's, you know, upwards vertical kill game with spin dash and uh, up throw or the up air and whatnot. But even more so than that, I think it's because Sonic can, has an easier time landing than, say, FD while still maintaining the lint. Oh, for sure. So it's definitely, I'd say definitely Sonic's best stage. Um, on occasion, maybe FD, but for most intense purposes, I, I'd give this to his best stage. You definitely want to go to FD in like a matchup like versus Ryu or Sonic. Oh, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Very nice uh, up B spring right there coming Actually, up from Sunito. Yeah, super, super solid stuff coming out from Sunito. Just cleaning up his play in the first stock. Um, even then with Ryu on FD, I'd say it's debatable. Um, because again, depends on the player, probably. Yeah, it depends on the player. Uh, but right now, focusing on Town and City. Sunito with a strong start. Wow, okay, what was that, an up air? Like you said, the 30%. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> nice falling Every up air time. into another 20%. He has to land. And that's what I feel like this metagame has evolved to. Pretty much, you rinse, watch, and repeat, force the burn limit, force him to throw an aerial, and just commit to punishing wherever he's going to land. Don't necessarily challenge Cloud in the air too much. Just get it where you can. Very nice double air dodge by Salt One, recognizing the situation he was in. Okay, yeah, that's just going to do it. Oh, he no, has, so has a okay, double jump. Frame. Oh, that's going to do it. Oh, oh wow. wow. Very nice delay on that up B. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, it's going to do it. I said it three times in a row. My bad, guys. Anyways. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's finally no, it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Game. That's it now. But, uh, yeah, solid stuff coming out there from Sanito. Again, with that extra room that he was allotted on Town and City, he was able to play that just, I'm going to wait to see where you're landing. Pretty much. And I'm going to punish you with pivot grabs, spin dashes, then whole shebang. <laughs> um, so the whole shebang. The whole shebang. I haven't heard that phrase in a while it's okay man i, I love like that i love that phrase a little bit uh right now we see the counterpick to dreamland uh it's also force. like no one no one ever says like that was a stellar performance you're right <laughs> i'm gonna steal that one thank you uh back to this game <laughs> dreamland and in, in my opinion i actually I, like this kind of pick i do too i like it over battlefield simply because uh your opponents will just die if they get crossed last year instead of just i'm gonna barely live this uh, whereas you know cloud on any other stage he doesn't have to touch the black zone to die. You can just get a good, clean gimp and he's dead. So I like this choice coming out. And obviously, platforms are platforms. Cloud has an up air. Um, Sunito right now with 77% on 85 on oh yeah. Cloud right now. He's only taking not even 20. Oh, yeah. Now, again, the game plan does not change, in my opinion. Oh, that's scary. Stick to just whiff punishing. What it, oh, my God. What was he going for there? I actually really like that option by Salt One. If he would have actually been in position, he probably could have gone back air to double jump cross slash. I was just thinking about finish the touch. Oh, yeah. I may have killed at that height. Like back here to finishing touch? Yeah, but in terms Potentially, of... Potentially, yeah. Oh, then that yeah, that's will take it. it. Sonic at 42% right now. Sonic is in complete control of this match at the moment. Oh, yeah. Until... Oh, oh Salt One's dead. Oh, no, no he made not. it. Wow. Okay. Very nice positioning I, on that Klim Hazard. But he's taking a lot of percent for that. One of the good things about Cloud's up B, even though it is fairly easy to gimp him, his up B is so meaty that he's just able to get through hitboxes so easily sometimes. Oh, yeah. Down throw at the edge. It's going to be a very bad position right there for Cloud. Oh, Gets the drop zone bear. Okay. <laughs> Spring pushing him on stage, luckily. What was that inflection on bear? I know. Bear. It's okay. He's back. <laughs> you got the oh, word man. out, man. You got the word out. <laughs> um, Sunito with a very solid lead. Um, Salt one. I feel as if just can't really get his footing right now. Um, or at least get this stock off. Uh-oh. Sunito so trying to find a way to close out this second stock as fast as possible because Cloud with Limit and Rage would be very hard to fight against right now. Yeah, and he, so the assault one just I'm actually don't know why he kept on that. charging Limit. Um, I think he knew I he mean, he would have gotten dropped on Baird, but like... I feel like he should have at least kept charging limit and upbeat as soon as he could. Yeah. He might have gotten the invincibility frames. I Maybe. feel like that was just a slow, like it, saw one getting a little demotivated was, right there. Just, it, was, it was close. He yeah. should have at least attempted. Yeah, but not really in the mood. Um, up an entire stock as Sonic is, uh, you know, never something another character wants to face. So but it's not something that Cloud game. can't come back from. It's not. This is very, very you difficult. You see the run back, any. though, immediately. All right, and Dreamline not working out too well the first time. Um, now, I'd imagine the ban from Sanito was Lila, if I had to take a guess. Um, given the playstyle that he's taking up in this match. Space Force still going to be punished by the dash attack. Good reaction. 
Now, one other thing that I haven't mentioned yet that I think is super, super effective against Sonic. Um, if you get the lead, instead of just trying to play the neutral on the ground with uh, Cloud, like right now, don't even worry about ledge trapping. Just camp the platforms. Oh, it's I agree. super, super good against Sonic. Um, a lot of times, he's going to have to connect, commit with up air, which, you know, you challenge him with your down air, and Sonic's not going to beat that. So a lot of times, you can kind of just play that platform camping game and be fine. But, well, okay. But aggression. Solid call out from there. Or from Salt One right there. Oh, okay. oh, nice. Not letting this man land at all. Air Jordan, gone. All right. He was, trying to, was he trying to land back on the spring there? Yeah, I think he tried to land back on the spring there. Here, Jordan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can fly. All right. So, moving back in the game. Again, Salt One kind of trying to play his same game plan, but Sanito is just... He's staying on the move and just pretty much choosing where he's engaging Salt One um, anytime he jumps. And it's really hard to just play the grounded game with Salt, um, with Cloud in general. But Especially versus Sonic, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I do think that, you know, uh, just throwing out jabs at certain spacings is enough to just get him to second guess where he's going to throw out spin dash instead of just running around willy-nilly. Oh, that's going to oh. be Dev. Yeah, that's Dev. Oh, oh, my lord. Nice. Very nice conversion there from Sunito. And that will be 3-1 in Sunito's favor. 